works. I'm looking for next month when it's raining, I can take my wife to go out for a date. I feel very impressed. Good technique. Do not close this. Postmaster Ming Li was very confident. He focused on 80% of showing up. And that show out to throughout his speeches. <coughs> what I love about Ming, Ming Li is that he has courage. Not everyone can come up here and give the first speech with that kind of confidence. Mm. So first of all, please give him a big hand. I believe that the way that he tells a story really connects to us. Because not only about that he be able to quit the job and say no to the job, but the way that his friend suggests him but he can say no. And he have a courage of um, <coughs> what is the word? <coughs> <coughs> oh, he went to New York. So that's what I love about the way that he showed the courage on the stage. <coughs> Another thing I love about Ming Wee's speech was that he has a lot <coughs> logical flows throughout his speech. <coughs> okay, and uh, I forgot my points. <laughs> One thing about Ming, Ming Li is uh, Oh, okay, the objective. He met the objective. <laughs> he actually met the objective of uh, being the first time doing the project <laughs> and up here to, uh, to take the first step. That's very encouraging. One thing I need to, for him to improve is that maybe he have a stronger opening. One way to do opening is to get audience participation. Like, who here have been say no to your job before? Get everyone involved. A second way you have a powerful opening is through a code. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Mm. So that it gives you credibility. Because people may not know about you well yet, yet enough. But if you give a code from Einstein or somebody else <coughs> that they already know, they give you credibility. <coughs> Another way of have a strong opening is you can have a novelty. Like immediately you go to state, sit down on the chair and say, last time I was talking to my girlfriend and I was sitting down and I called, hey honey, please come here. And immediately she look at me and say, you better do something else. Or something like that, great novelty. People didn't expect me to do that. You know how I really love Ming Li's speech? Because the way that he gives us courage and the message was clear about 80% showing up throughout his speeches. If he give one message to the audience and they remember that after they leave the room, that powerful speech. I'm looking forward to hear Ming Li's speech again. Wow. <laughs>